Hello, Grand Rising. Good evening, whatever time it is in the world. I am Sierra Latrice, the Oracle, and this reading may be for you. This is for my Virgos, and for any of you that may have Virgo in your chart and all that good stuff. May these messages find y'all absolutely well. Let's see what's on the horizon for you guys going into the next week. I'm calling upon Divine God in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, present angels, ancestors, and guides. That we are receiving the messages that are intended for a Virgo's highest good of your intention. For the good of all harm of none, gratitude, I shame, and amen. Showing all that needs to be seen, revealed, all that good stuff. Okay. May this reading find y'all well, Virgo. Okay. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Okay. All right. Hope everybody is well and doing the best that they can right now. I know it's rough out there, so much uncertainty, a lot of unforeseen events, you know, just keep your head up. That's what I can tell you, okay? That's for anybody that watches this, okay? Mm -hmm. Virgo, so far you have the message of victory and success. You're going to be fine, Virgo baby, okay? As well as the message of harmony, peace being in your world. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. Throat chakra things. Throat chakra. Okay. Yep. Yeah, what you speak. Uh huh. You Virgo, you got to be mindful of that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's going on here? Somebody trying to be a Decepticon. Uh, whoa. Okay. Ah, hot spirit, thank you. Oh, I just figured it out, bro. I just think, oh man, that's crazy. All right, Virgo, let me talk to you about this, okay? Who? Virgo, you are well on your way to victory and success in your season. And I'm, y'all, I'm laughing. I'll explain it towards the end why I'm laughing because it. Virgo, victory and success is upon you, okay? This is a higher consciousness message for those of you that have been anticipating and waiting and waiting and waiting and just wanted to see changes, positive ones across the board. Victory and success is upon you, Virgo, okay? As well as the message of harmony, okay? So this also deals with peace in certain settings, okay? So Virgo, this can very much be in, in regards to a relationship that you are pursuing or one that you're going to be in or just in general you being at peace with people in your immediate circle okay in the midst of you being successful in your endeavors okay and a lot of this has to deal with how you've been using your throat shock or what you said what you have not said okay what you are speaking into existence what you are even in some instances Holding yourself back from saying, because I know a lot of times, you know, we're very reactionary. Virgo, we can be very, we know we can be very reactionary, but you've been using your throat chakra wisely. You've been very mindful of what you say, okay? There's one thing to think certain things, but it's one another thing to say certain things or respond in particular ways. So Virgo, a lot of the reason why the harmony and the victory is coming is because of what you have been speaking into existence or what you've been using that precious throat chakra for. But there is a warning for you, Virgo, in regards to this message of deception and envy. And as soon as I saw that particular message pop out, I'm just letting you know off gate, okay? There are people in the mist that are trying to deceive you and or may be very well envious of what you are acquiring, what you are being blessed with, okay? So I need y'all to be mindful of those people because while you're establishing winning and peace in your journey, you have to be mindful of this outer lying energy that is trying its best to rear its ugly head. But it's not going to work because of what is promised. And the more and more you speak to what it is that you are looking to attain, the more and more unlikely it is for these forces, these entities, these people who house certain spiritual connection and intention 
to be able to penetrate what you have going on, okay? So let's just be mindful of that being the very reason why you are starting to sense and feel certain things and you're being mindful of certain interactions because you know what's going on, but ultimately the message of triumph. Triumph and victory are two very powerful words. So Virgo, you need to even incorporate this into some of your affirmations or your mantras, whatever you deem be fit. Please incorporate this into what you speak into existence, okay? Because it's very highly important that you make this happen for yourself, okay? It's important that you speak these things into intention. So yes, Virgo, you know the vibes, okay? You're going to win, my darling, but you just know what's in the midst, okay? What is circling? What's trying to circle around? What's trying to rear its ugly head in the midst of all the wonderful things that you are about to acquire and all the things that you are about to set the tone for, okay? But there's way more than this that I would like to put into rotation through divine, angelic, and ancestral means, okay? So I need for y'all to also tap in with me as we get some messages from the divine masters, okay? The ascended masters. Okay, and let's see what they have to offer us today for the Virgo Soul Tribe. Let's see what's going on right now, okay? Virgo, you got the message of Kali Ma in regards to that a divine severance. Cutting the course to drama, fears, and limitations. Hello, is that not what the deception and envy message correlates to? Uh-huh, it's the severance, okay? It's the separation. Right now, there is a huge but very necessary separation that is happening, okay? And it's in the process of doing it, okay? Now, the irony, okay, is that we have seven skulls here, okay? And I'm going to leave that where it's at, okay, in the imagery aspect. But there is a severance that is happening spiritually and energetically. So anything that must go is going to go, okay? You just have to keep setting those intentions for yourself, Okay, you keep working with the energy, keep working with your intentions, your affirmations, your energy, okay? We also have this, ooh, yes, we have the message of Hanuman in regards to the message of the devoted warrior, letting God's love hold you in strength, okay? This is about the power being in your hands, Virgo, okay? You have the power to decide. The power is within your hands and in your reach, okay? And this is allowing God to do some very powerful things and trusting that God is going to make a way, even if you can't see it right now. But it's knowing that all these good things are coming your way. All of this positive energy, all of these blessings, all of this victorious, blessed energy is yours for the amount of three ninety nine. So, yes. This is imperative and necessary, Virgo. Let me see what else is going on, okay? What else divine spirit is here for the Virgo? What else is happening? Ooh, yes, Lord. I know that's right. We have the message of green tower in regards to that healing light, wellness unfolding, knowing that healing is a journey. So yes, Virgo, we also understand that some healing going on with you right now as well and the irony in this is that green resonates with the heart chakra so again a lot of what has happened up until this point has a lot to deal with matters of the heart okay but don't worry because we also have the message of that of ishtar in regards to inner knowing and learning okay knowing that the truth is going to prevail and your heart is <laughs> I just said green was the color of the heart, and he's like, now it's, now it's your heart is leading you, okay? Your heart is helping you to practice mindfulness, okay? Your intentions are coming from a heart-based place, but it's why you have to protect yourself right now, Virgo, because, again, you've seen that message of Decepticon and envy, and it's lurking, okay? It's, it's trying to do stuff to loom, Okay, but then you have the message of Mother Mary in regards to miraculous encounters. Do not be afraid of being powerful, as well as the message of soap debt in regards to cosmic power, unlocking your unlimited potential. Your sacred mission is being initiated. 
So you have a huge purpose right now, Virgo, to follow through on, okay? And, and do not by any means be surprised by some of the encounters and some of the things that are happening, okay? Um, we also have the message of that of Mary Magdalene. We got both Marys. We got Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene. Goodness sake, that being a sacred vessel, you being the answer and being guided further into your purpose. Virgo, you know what you need to do. You know all that you can do, okay? And the miracles that are up ahead. And it helps you to prevail. So just know, even in the midst of this happening, of this, you know, deception, this is all about you utilizing your discernment right now and getting clear about who these Decepticons and envious people are. So you can not only resist their energy, but also, if necessary, get them up out of here, okay? Get them up out of here. They must go. Anything unaligned must go, okay? It has to go with the energy of Kalima and what we discussed earlier. So yes, just know that there's a severance happening. You're going to start to see people for who they are. They're gonna, and the thing that's so crazy, Virgo, is these people ain't going to have no choice but to reveal themselves. That's why it says the truth prevails is because these people can no longer be in the position where they can hide. <laughs> it's like for so long, they were getting away with the BS and it's like, they can't do it anymore because they, their, their natural nature is coming through. And please keep in mind, we have a very powerful portal coming up, okay? So we're going to not only work with this new moon energy, we're going to work with this portal energy. We're going to work with this full moon energy when it comes back around. We're going to be working with a lot of things and intentions and trusting God for the most of it. But this is why it's like now that, you know, all this stuff is coming into fruition and all these seeds are being sowed. And they're growing. You have no choice but to recognize that, hey, this is going to be what's exposed. What people were trying to, you know, throw blinders over you. They were trying to veil themselves, make it to where they, what their intentions actually were, were not visible. Not only is it going to be apparent to you, but you're also going to be in the midst of where people around you are going to notice these things as well. So let me tell you something. Keep cool even in the midst of people showing their ass. Let me say that again, Virgo. Please keep cool in the midst of people showing their ass because the blessings that are up ahead in the very near future, you don't have time to get irritated and what you speak matters most. So be mindful of your words. Make sure that you are speaking life into yourself even when you are going through those attacks because right now they're at a high, okay? So please just be mindful. You have a lot of sacred divine energy surrounding you. I mean, even if you feel like you need to strengthen your throat chakra right now, Virgo, but just know that you have a very huge mission right now. You have a lot of great things that you're going to be able to do. You're going to have a lot of blessings pouring in. The victory and the triumph is already yours. You are going to be experiencing more peace in your connections in the midst of that, getting rid of the ones that have this energy. It all comes full circle. In order to maintain and acquire more, there's things that need to be released and it's, that, and it's surrounding these people that are causing this irritation. Hearing their voice or even reading their texts or anything is going to irritate you. And that's how you're going to know who the Decepticons and the envious people are. And it, it's just when, you, when people show you who they are, believe it. But in the midst of you believing that, believing yourself to know that you are worthy of the harmony, you are worthy of the triumph and of the victory. OK, because sometimes you don't have to fight literally to win the battle. It's all about sometimes you just have to allow yourself to be in a space where you are willing to surrender and trust in the process. Virgo. So please do me a favor and do that, because right now I know some of you are in a very vulnerable position. Some of you feel very, you know, trying to you know, get yourselves together and all that jazz. And that's OK. So, Virgo, trust the process, trust where you are being led. You have a purpose, a big one at that. And the best way to fulfill it right now is to trust and to know that what needs to be severed is the process will well be worth in the midst of that. It will require you to see things as they are. Virgo, may this message find you absolutely well.